Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech today, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks how to keep your Macs and even PCs running good by simply using an eraser, some Q-tips, and some alcohol. Be back. So if you have dirty contacts on your MagSafe charger, there's a really easy way to clean these guys up. Now, a lot of times, a lot of people just like to use straight alcohol. I'll show you something that's a little bit more efficient in addition to the alcohol. And it involves just a regular pencil eraser. Make sure it's nice and clean. You can clean it up with alcohol or even a little sandpaper. Make sure it's clean. And all you're gonna do, it's real easy. You're just gonna take and just very gently, just clean the contacts here. And it's not gonna hurt the magnets or anything and do it for a few times. Rotate the pencil eraser. You don't have to rub it really hard. And if you're having a little trouble getting down in there, I also do the outside of it there too. And if you're having a little trouble getting down inside there, you can even take and cut it so it'll get all the way on the either side of that. But for our purposes, we're just gonna do the contacts here. And you see how nice and shiny those look there? Look really good. And then what you can do Is you can follow it up with alcohol and just kind of go in there and just make sure you get everything cleaned out of there and you want to give it a few minutes to dry you can either kind of blow on it if you want or even use a little compressed air to, to dry it out and then once it's dry plug it in to your power book macbook that's got the magsafe charger and it should work just fine you can also clean your contacts on your macbook so if you have an old macbook like this you can clean your contacts again same thing I usually just use the pencil eraser first rather than using the alcohol first because this will get a lot of the corrosion off of it much easier than just using straight alcohol. A lot of times alcohol leaves things behind. And just do it like that. Again, you're not going to hurt anything. Just do it real gingerly here. Look how dirty that eraser is getting already just by cleaning that. And that thing was all clean at the beginning. So once you feel comfortable doing that, then you can go back here and use your alcohol and clean it up really good. And the same thing, just let this thing dry out for a few minutes. You can use a dry Q-tip on it as well to help dry it out. And a little canned air and let it sit for a few minutes and you can plug it back in and it'll charge. So then when it's all nice and dry, you just put your MagSafe charger in there, plug it in, and you're good to go. Another thing I like to do is when I get some RAM modules, doesn't matter what machine they come out of, whether it's a Mac or a PC, a lot of times these little contacts get corroded up here. So another great thing to do is, again, rather than just using alcohol first, I always go over it with a, just mildly with a pencil eraser, just like this. And just do both sides here. Got lots of little pins here. These do get dirty. You can see already how dirty that thing's getting there already. Look at that. It's getting really dirty. So we're just going to go over a little bit more here. Don't worry about it. You're not going to hurt it. Just rub real lightly. And you can see the difference. Look how shiny those things are already. They are really getting shiny. Flip it over and do the other side. Same thing. Just do it just like that. We'll go on the other side here. Let's do the same thing here. Get these all cleaned up. And again, look at all the stuff on that thing. It's getting free gross there. And again, what we'll do is we'll take our alcohol and we'll go over to here and we'll clean this here. Get that all nice and clean for you there. And we'll go on the other side here. We'll clean this one here. And look at this. Look at all that stuff I'm getting off on that. So it works good. It's a nice, easy tip to clean your contacts. Another thing you can do this is actually a USB card out of a 20th anniversary Mac. This is an extra one that I have. I don't have that machine anymore, but I had a couple of these. So if I ever get another one, uh, if it doesn't have a USB port on it, we just plug it right in and it'll work. But again, sitting around, even in the plastic, these get a little dull looking. So again, we're gonna take and use the eraser here. I'm gonna clean these up here. And again, you don't have to use a lot of force we let the eraser do all the work. We're going to rotate it. We're going to flip it over here. Same thing. We're just going to do the eraser on it there. Yeah. 
Look at that, it's getting dirty again. And then what we're gonna do, there's a clean alcohol swab here. And we're gonna clean that here. We'll go on the other side here. We'll clean that. And you can see it's getting dirty already. It's, it's picking up a lot of the stuff there. And here's some RAM out of a power book. And again, we're just gonna hit it with the eraser here. Here on this side here. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And like I said, I started with this thing clean. You, you wanna make sure you clean your eraser every time that you clean a different set of contacts. Okay, and now we will hit it with the alcohol. And we'll just clean the contacts here. Trying to get it in the light here. We'll flip it over. And again, when you get these all clean, you want them set for a few minutes so that way everything gets all nice and dried off. And then when you put it back inside the machine, uh, it will work just fine. And if you get a little cotton on there, just pull it off. You can even take like a little tiny little modeler's paintbrush. Uh, the one that's never been used, and that's really nice to kind of get in there and get any little residue from the uh, Q-tip off of there. So I hope you liked all these tips and tricks I showed you today. I try to keep them simple. Just stuff that you have around the house makes a big difference on the equipment that you have. It doesn't have to be more complicated. Simpler is always better in my rule book. So I hope you guys like this channel. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and click the bell for future notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.